Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a real quick candle review to share with you guys. It's of a niche candle, um, but we'll get to it in a moment. What is on my lips? Something really simple and basic. It's actually a half decent day outside today. I just put on this little, I consider it my like classy lip balm. <laughs> It's Lancome's Kiss Smile Shine in number 234. It is something that I use. I'm not using this in my purse I'm, at the moment. This is what I lived with in my purse um, anywhere we went anywhere in the cooler months, but because it is summer, I don't like stick formation lip products in my bags because, well, it gets pretty warm. <laughs> All right, so the reason why you guys are here is for my review and whether I would recommend this candle or not. This is, um, a, like I said, it's kind of a niche. Niche means rare. And so to me, I find this to be rare. I kind of went on this, like, if you're aware, I went on this like candle hunt and it ended up being like all candles that were scented in their, their um, shampoo conditioner type scent. So I had the Bum Bum, the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum, uh, or sorry, Boom Boom, candle review already up. I've still got two I've got to burn and review for you guys from Aveda, which is also where I got shampoo. But this one today, we're talking about Moroccan oil. This is their, the candle, again, it says bougie, bougie, bougie candle, bougie. Um, the, on the, it's just a nice sturdy box. It's very similar to the White Barn kind of style boxes I've seen people get. We don't have White Barns here in Canada, at least maybe in Toronto they do, <laughs> but nowhere I've, I've ever seen one. Um, so before I go any further, I'll just read to you what it says here. Indulge the, the senses. Long-lasting candle made with premium European wax softly illuminates, creates a warm, soothing, soothing ambiance. Experience it. Light candle in an open area to enjoy a scent as it dissipates. Trim wick regularly for optimal burning. Fantastic. But like I say, it's very Moroccan oil. Um, I love their shampoo and conditioner. If you're been around my channel long enough you guys know i i have this like the repurchase after repurchase i've l lived and loved with that stuff and actually the salon i go to that's the stuff that they do sell as well anyway so here's the candle so there's the moroccan oil very similar to um like i said white barn and i will say this again so <laughs> moving because i'm i don't have a table in front of me at the moment um, I always trim my wick prior to the next burn. So I burnt this last night. We watched the last episode of Homeland for season seven. So we just have, we're just waiting for season eight to arrive on Netflix. I so love that show. <laughs> I'm going to miss it when it's done, but this is the Moroccan oil candle. And, um, it is a seven ounce candle. It's 62 American dollars. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey. 200 grams or seven ounces. And of course it just has all the ingredient, green ingredients, but also your trimming instructions. They also, in the box, had a little trimming instruction pamphlet, little wee thing in there. So this is gorgeous. This is an opaque white color paint on the inside. But what it is, is it still allows for the illumination of this candle when it's burning. So that's nice. But what I want to show you guys, this, look how, like the candle itself is seven ounces, but the jar is probably more like five pounds. It is heavy. Um, definitely a great jar to reuse in the future. I am currently down here. I didn't want to, I don't like to make a review for you guys unless we're at a 50% or lower. Hey, I've learned my lesson with Bath and Body Works. So um, I definitely like to come to you guys with a review. And of course I will, like my mid month melts and what I melted for the end of the month, that kind of thing. That's a great way to find out when I finished and what I thought of it at the end, did it change? But right here, this is a heavy, sturdy candle jar. <laughs> Let me tell you, very, very thick. So this does kind of remind me of the, um, a quise candle type thing. Remember the all the rage of a quise candles? They were in the really dark brown, had a little stamp of a little an A, a fa fancy script A at the front with like a little gold leaf behind it. But their jars are really, really, really um, thick as well. And what it does is it does help to um, just keep the heat inside, the conduct the heat and keep it warm. So, um, so anyway, here we go. This is a hundred percent. Every time I burn this, first of all, no kerosene smell. 
no puny wick syndrome. This is typical mushroom top after about a three hour burn. In, like I said, in the evening, that's when I burnt it. There's a little, let's see if I can get this for you guys. There's a tiny little bit up here that comes up a little bit here. But again, it's one of those things, no different than the bum, or the boom boom cream candle, boom boom candle. It did that at the beginning, but it does just sort of fall down to the bottom as well. It really not, it does not make, it's not tunneling per se. Um, so the wick is beautiful. It is 100% cotton wick. The burn itself, fabulous. Absolutely no uh, sooting whatsoever. When it's sitting out and then I have the windows out in the living room and the breeze will come through or when I light it, I, all I can think of is when I wash my hair with the shampoo and conditioner the um smell of my wet hair if i were to go like and i do i do like i love that shampoo and conditioner smell but i would go like this in with my wet hair and that's a type of scent that uh, lingers in my hair for quite some time that's exactly what i got from this so it's definitely like my wet hair with the moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner it 100 percent um it is 62 dollars us so very pricey for what I'm gonna let you guys decide whether you would choose to purchase this. Now, I want to, I'm buying candles and reviewing candles that are a little more niche, a little different. Not a lot of people have reviewed them because I want to see are they better. Like I, I do find the burn on this is amazing. I'll reuse this jar absolutely. Even Nelson said, "Holy crap!" First of all, he's like, "That's a heavy candle," and secondly, he's like, "Wow, well, you can use that as a glass." I'm like, "Absolutely!" Or in your makeup, a beauty blender help can hold a bunch of beauty blenders and stuff. Anyway, you can use this for many different things. $62 US equates to about a lot of money in Canadian because our dollar is really bad. It is a lot of money, but it is really good. Now I have to say you need to really, really enjoy the shampoo and conditioner to want to get this and feel like you're even pers even getting close to, um, feeling like it was your worth your purchase. So I said this to Nelson quite a few times. Now this is the, again, I'll always revert back, but the Boom Boom candle from Sol de Janeiro, I would 100% put, I've got two in my cart. I'm just waiting for their, their hand sanitizers to restock because I just want to make a big order. Like I want to buy two. I want, I want to not be without that candle every summer. This one, on the other hand, I can see myself purchasing if I feel like I, maybe once a year, like if I am going in and getting these things, I might buy this candle. It's definitely a candle I would burn in the summer just based on the, like they don't tell you what the scent notes are, but it's just, it's floral. It's more like a beachy floral, but nothing like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom candle. It's just, it's really good and it's burning well, but like I say, I don't, I wouldn't like, I'm not craving this one at night where I was craving the Sol de Janeiro um, Boom Boom candle or Teresa, Teresa, Teresa 62, whatever it's called. So that's the big difference for sure. I do like this, but again, like I said, the choice is yours to feel like whether you wanna try. I know my friend April was asking, she said she's been looking at this candle for quite some time. So April, it really kind of depends. If you really, really like the scent, yes, absolutely go for it. It's got a, a fantastic burn and there's nothing no sitting, no nothing wrong with it. I trim the wick prior to the next burn. So tonight, again, I'll do that as well. This is a definitely a reusable jar, 100%. But it's not one I'm just like, oh my God, I, I can't live without it in my collection. Not to say that I won't repurchase it again. Like I said, when I'm online and I'm ordering some of the other things, products that I do enjoy out there from their line, um, I might slip in one of these, but I'm not, you know, it's not a bad candle. Like if you want to really compare the two between the Teresa or the Teresa Boom Boom candle, Teresa 62, Sol de Janeiro candle, I, I, I'm butchering this, I'm sorry. But if you want to compare that to that other candle did sit quite a bit. The, the wick was a little off center there for a, a lot of sitting on the one side, but it's the scent. It's the scent on that one that I absolutely adore. This one's good. Um, I would give this a six and a half, maybe a seven out of 10 for what I like in a candle. Whereas that Sol de Janeiro one is a hundred percent 10 
the throw on it is insane. The throw on this one, like I said, you don't even have to have it lit and if you have the windows open in your house and a breeze kind of comes through, it's like, woo, it's just this nice little breeze of scent. But I will say that the throw on this one is more, whereas the um, Sol de Janeiro one is like an 11, 12 out of 10, if that's ever possible, it is in my world. I would say that this was probably only about a six and a half, like probably almost the same number I would have given it as like what I like about it out of 10. So about a six and a half, I would give this for a throw. Not bad, not super strong. It's more whiffs of it. You, I put this in our living room, same place I put the other candle. And so I didn't feel like I got as much of a throw on this one as I did another, the other one I've been mentioning a thousand times in this video. But anyway, uh, so the choice is yours. Whether you feel that this is worth it for you to purchase or not, the choice is yours. But I really, really hope that you have smelt the shampoo or the conditioner and know what it is that you're, you know, buying. Because I think it would be a scent that, not polarizing, it's not like that. Um, but I think you just need, really need to know and like the shampoo. And I do. I will repurchase this in the future, but it's not something I'm running out and grabbing right away. So that is my review of Moroccan Oil's 7 ounce one wick candle that they have on their website for 62 American dollars. I'm sure you can use a coupon. Like I th always say, if you're going onto a website and purchasing from the company itself, when you sign on to their newsletters, like your emails, uh, you have to give them your email address. Generally, they have a 20% off the first time, like welcome, go bananas, do what you want to do, do the damage you need to do. And then, you know, you subscribe to it for a bit. And then if you don't want to subscribe to it anymore, you would press unsubscribe. And so you've gotten that 20% off where you might not have been able to get that before. So also a tip. All right, you guys, as always, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.